It looks like we're talking about boots once again, and especially if you're in Atlanta, Georgia area, uh, this situation is tough out here. And so my question of the day for all you truck drivers, you know, where did you get the boot? How much did it cost? And uh, did you pay the fee? And where did it happen? Mother truckers, let's get into this video. What's going on, mother truckers? Uh, welcome to Mother Trucker News. Email us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. Now, I had a truck driver that was actually out in the Atlanta area and was parked on the side of a shipper and got booted, right? So he wanted to share this uh, information here that's uh, helped him out a lot and what I thought about it. Um, basically, he called out these girls uh, for $50 and they took off the boot for him and he was really excited about that. But as I was doing more information digging, I found out some truths and some things that you need to know so that you do not get in trouble yourself. Online for removing boots for drivers. Channel 2's Courtney Francisco is live and Courtney, they call themselves the boot girls. Uh, first off, you know, it sounds like it's a good thing that they're taking off these booths for 50 bucks, but actually what they're doing is they bought the master's keys off of a website called Atlanta Boot Key. Now, it is actually not illegal to buy these keys, but if you use them to take off the boot, uh, you can actually get criminal charges for theft. Story we brought you earlier this week about businesses that help drivers who get stuck with boots on their vehicles by selling boot keys. Yeah, now Atlanta police officers have a warning for you. Good day, Lindsay Tuman is live in Midtown. And Lindsay, good morning to you. There seems to be a, a fine legal line here, right? It's why Christian Verent started his side business. If you get a car boot, I most likely have a key that's compatible with the lock. Uh, I talked to a lawyer about this, and the lawyer says that, you know, even though you do the boot removal or have someone come in and do it, uh, you still have to pay the ticket. So if you're going ahead and getting this, and you're getting this service done, and you're not thinking about paying the ticket, yeah. Uh, you're still going to get in trouble for that. So, you know, I just want to give you that information off the top. Um, now, these girls, it's kind of crazy. They're going viral everywhere. Boot girls in Buckhead, right? And they'll travel all around uh, the Atlanta area. And they're wearing pink and black masks. And they're pretty much going viral for this. But I just want to give you this information and, and, and let you know that, you know, um, for one, I do think that these boots are a scam. I think that they should be banned. And although it does seem like they are doing the right thing, uh, just know that you still got to pay this ticket legally, right? And so, you know, um, my best advice is, you know, try not to park on private property, right? Uh, Mother Truckers, comment down below. But yeah, I mean, there is an underlining bigger problem. And that underlining bigger problem is there's not enough truck parking in America, especially in big inner cities.